so hi YouTube this is a, so a short video of the difference between good and bad tube sockets uh, which I make quickly just because we got a little conversation about it so okay I decide to show some of the good ones old new and one of the weak ones old and new so just do the quick because I um, just about to test here some new things I'm up to on my workbench here and uh, just a little interruption okay here we go this is a very old one uh, it's for 807 transmitting tubes or so five uh, pins this one is a, a uh, old one which I desolder it on some junk and this is a new one uh, which I normally I uh, usually use on uh, printed circuit boards or something I do it on my own here we go this is I just soldered together and this is how it looks underneath okay just as the smallest one you can get nowadays uh, over here if you just flip it down upside down here you see the the solder pins I'll let the camera to focus here we go uh, slightly see okay just put it back and here the this is uh, the best new one you can get right now at the moment uh, with the shield in the middle and it's uh, for uh, the uh, chassis mounting and uh, the best uh, contacts inside a uh, come focus best contacts inside uh, maybe it's visible I don't know I think no um, I don't know the the exact uh, American or English word in German it's a uh, cage feeder contactor it's around uh, the whole pin from the tube surrounding the whole thing and uh, clamped very good so and this is here a little bit uh, over here this is uh, average one uh, cost of about uh, two or three euros plain this one here is the same and this is with the metal shield you get it uh, separate like this and this is the same thing for uh, PCB mounting but um, you can I use this very much when when I go uh, and do some prototyping because they easily fits inside this uh, prototype boards you may familiar with them just solder uh, thin things to them and then and place it with a little care, care, care inside here and oh you can uh, have the tube circuits on the uh, proto board as well nice to have if you do mixed signals like I'm doing here uh, with uh, use of transistors and integrated circuit along with my uh, tube circuits over here so uh, you can have old and new type of electronics on inside the same thing okay and um, this is uh, very old but very good uh, type of octal sockets and this in front here is uh, the the most uh, flimsy and uh, uh, at least uh, rubbishness or, or what 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 you want to call this uh, it's made of uh, epoxy materials and don't uh, if you put them into uh, heating am amplifiers or uh, don't don't use this sort of uh, a socket for uh, 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 output tube like the uh, 
EL84 or something like it will just uh, melt down. So, and this is uh, the. Oof, oof. Average ratio uh, ceramic uh, octal socket, and they just have two uh, contact poles in in uh, for each uh, pin of the tube. Oof. Reliable is okay. They are very cheap, about four euros. And this is the best you can obtain new for octals. A chassis mount as well. A little bit out of focus. Chassis mount as well. Uh, with the uh, uh, have plated materials. I don't exactly the the. Uh, English word for the plate material, plated material, but uh, it's uh, non-corrosive and do a very good contact. Not having gold plated contact because uh, if you got gold plated contacts and use with the uh, not not plated uh, tube, gold plated uh, pin tubes, or uh, other way around, sorry. Um, uh, if you use this you get uh, contact to contact uh, resistance or even uh, a voltage you create some t something like a battery because the uh, the gold on the one side and uh, I don't know nickel or what on the other side have um, two uh, 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 I don't know the word sorry I explain it in the in the uh, comments here because it goes by far too too uh, too long for uh, just speak about it and you mount the this you you have this one at least with all the sockets and you can mount this like that on the on the chassis so no need for a rubber standoff because uh, this is flexible enough uh, you don't crackle the the socket. This needs a uh, rubber stands off because if you mount this exactly uh, on the uh, in the matching hole of the chassis, okay, you may uh, bend, try to bend this uh, by screwing it up tight to the chassis. It's crackle over here, or when when the tube heats up, maybe you you put a. a KT88 or some some similar would dissipate much heat and uh, the chassis bends during the heat and you crackle the whole thing. I've seen a lot of crackled and uh, similar uh, sockets on old amplifiers. You have to uh, desolder it and re uh, dismount and mount another one because crackled uh, ceramic uh, sockets are no good in any way okay time is up that's about it thank you bye bye